All right, so Young Etika versus Millen. Pichu versus Lucario. Yes, sir. Pichu, a very good character. I feel like very underrepresented. Underrepresented, also like Weavile. Both of the or wow, Krogunk again, and Froki. These weird support sets. I mean, dude, they just they just. I I, I personally enjoy it because it's out of the norm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's interesting to see Pichu use uh, Froki because Pichu doesn't really have a hard time getting in. Uh, I think Pichu has some of the best projectiles in the game for making his way in, along with his counter. Yeah, especially yeah. for his size. Too. Yeah, yeah. The thunder is amazing. Yeah, well, now actually, interestingly enough, we, when we saw RJ uh, performing in losers and er, excuse me, in winners, he was using Pikachu Libre, and you know, wasn't nearly as effective as we've seen. He's made this. We've seen two matches from him in losers bracket, and then Pikachu has been working out for him big time. Yep. So we'll see if he can continue that streak here. Millen, however, very, very, very solid. Lucario is doing a lot of damage himself. Yeah, Froki not really doing anything in that situation. <laughs> oh, and the top left, we got the losing scores on deck. Finally, looks good, man. Oh, dropping his bone rush combo. Uh, still has Crow Gunk on deck. I wonder if he's gonna use it. Nope. Oh, all right. Oh, why? That was. Like, I think he could have just burst attack that. Yeah, honestly. I was gonna say not the most optimal punish there. Oh, and Froki once again break that combo. Nicely done. Wow, RJ. RJ. Okay. Looking very good with Pichu. Uh, lots of CADCs on deck. It, it's ridiculous. I, you know, his match in winners, I don't know, maybe he was just nervous. Maybe it was because he was using Libre, but it's just night and day, this guy. How yeah. he performed in winners compared to losers. Maybe he was sandbagging with uh, Pichu Libre. Too, it may be. Either I way. always thought that Pichu, Li oh my Pichu Libre was the stronger of the two, but honestly, the more I see Pikachu... I think he's more well-rounded. Well yeah, yeah, he is good. definitely more well-rounded, for sure. But I think they're actually very comparable. That was also punishable. Guys, don't forget you can counter attack in between the bone rush and the slam. Yes. Yeah. Full combo from that punish. Okay. Oh, Just goes okay. for a reset with the nuzzle. Yeah, it is. So somebody told me that nuzzle and Pikachu's regular grab have the same amount of damage. I'm not entirely sure, but in that situation, I wonder why you'd ever use regular grab instead of nuzzle. I, I guess think <laughs> nuzzle only does a little bit more. Nuzzle's a little bit slower, but it has much more grab range. This should punish. Oh no, misses! All I guess right. the dive kick saved him. Yeah, whipping there. But still in a pretty, in a very strong position here. Oh, forgot that. Absolutely no fear. Synergy burst thunder has two hits, my friends. Don't uh, forget. Yeah, yeah, you gotta remember that. We've seen a lot of people get caught off guard with that. Oh, and Alex gonna face right. shift. It's getting closer and closer here, chasing him down with the homing attack. Oh, and I like that. He only charged it halfway. He oh, made wow. RJ move his way in, but RJ ends up closing that round out anyway. There he is. Takes that first match. Look at Pichu in his win in his win pose. He looks so innocent. And then like mid match, have you seen his counter attack? He's charging like two electric fists, trying to punch you in the face. Yeah, I mean, dude, Nothing when he does his that. freaking burst attack, like it's just <laughs> like that man's just. Yeah, I see. I, it's not. It's not just a punch. I see the veins in that hit, man. <laughs> he makes you feel it. <laughs> is no joke. I think he could have punished that um, back wide from Mario, but wasn't fast enough. I'm looking for the side kick. He really wants it, but yeah. ends up getting the face shift anyway. <laughs> I love Pikachu. I love Pikachu's like back walk because he looks backwards when he's walking. So if you if you do a shimmy with him, it looks really really funny. Last matter though here for Millen, he is getting uh, pretty overwhelmed here to start caught in that block a little too long. Easy grab stuff. Yeah, this character is really hard to deal with if you don't know. I mean, you have to honestly counterattack a lot, uh, Pikachu. A lot of his stuff is just super, super safe. Yes. Uh, but none of it pierces, so uh, you just pick and choose your counters wisely. And Lucario does have a really good counterattack, so I'm surprised he's not doing that more. Oh, speaking of which. Making really oh great use of these CADCs forward. Goodness. Pichu's is really fast. It is. That one's kind of getting overwhelmed here. Gonna switch us back to dual phase though. Oh, oh very oh, lucky. Okay, Goes yeah. over. That's convenient right there. That's gonna give him a little bit of a little bit of burst of life here. Okay, see if we can trap him here. Oh, a quick grab. That was cute. No hesitation at all. Yeah, the Krogan. Oh, wait. Is Krogan still on deck? Wait, what's going on? No, the, the circle's still there. Yeah, the circle's still there. But, but Krogan is gone. That was weird. I've never seen that happen before. Is that? I mean, 
I guess if you face shift while the Krogong is still out, the circle stays, but there's no Krogong. <laughs> that was cool. Just left his mark and dipped. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I mean, he is a Pokemon, man. He's marking his territory. Look, <laughs> National Geographic's here for you. Folks. <laughs> you never quite know what's going to happen, man. <laughs> All right, once again, Froki going to cover that wake up. Nice. Oh, over the counter attack. Oh, a little bit too early on that grab. I'm going to get punished very hard for that. Bit, yep. Oh, the whiff right there into the dive kick here. Yeah, I wonder if that was a missed input because that nuzzle was nowhere even close to, to Lucario. Good, great. And still going for a defense buff. <laughs> Interesting. I guess. Oh, all right. So I guess that's pretty good. If he does get hit by a burst attack here, it's going to do like no damage because Peach's burst attack already does no damage. That's true. That's pretty cool. I guess you don't have to worry too much about that if you use that Sylveon. Yep, not gonna have to worry about it, period, right now, though. Oh my goodness. On the wall, yep. A little extra damage, chase him down. Oh, trying to make his way in with these CIDCs. Ends up getting caught. Oh, yikes. RJ, yep. Yeah, yeah, has Didn't to go to the burst. Gets a little health back. Just throws out his burst, though. Uh, I think from that distance, Melon could have just jumped it and then punished with his own first attack. Maybe, but... That's pretty... Oh, oh my Oh, no! Ah, safe yep. enough on block. It is, it's plus on block, but uh, it's enough time for Pikachu to get an up A yep. quick attack out. The reason is quick, man. Yeah, Pikachu's good. But I believe um, RJ is... Is this, is this round three? Yeah, I can't see the rounds unfortunately, but yes, this is the yeah, this is round three. Okay, yeah. so one round away uh, from closing this out. Yeah, RJ just needs to take it here. It's his quarter, so that's the three. I wonder why he doesn't just quick attack on wake up in that situation. Because we were talking about in the chat, but uh, force bomb does not first counter. Nice gets the uh, fully charged counter. It's gonna be full punish and great damage. Shout out to the top, yo, the higher, like, the skill level we see in players, the more you see that. And it's cool, it looks really cool, but honestly, in most situations, you don't need to see a DC forward like that. <laughs> it's actually pretty dangerous, because you can't just get, like, hit randomly by something. It's pretty dope, though. Krogan wants it again. I don't know why, though. Oh, he's gonna get hit by this Krogan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, why, why did he burst, like... So, he, like, normally you can't punish that, but Krogunk, if he's already there. I feel like what he was thinking of is the last match where he just was just, he just left the circle chilling and he wasn't even there. Yeah. He did that time. <laughs> hey, somebody was home. Somebody was home. Uh, meanwhile, they knock, knock right upside your head. Mill able to close that one out with a back Y, which is pretty interesting because that hit, like, max distance. He needed that, man. Yeah. Still, uh, what an opportunity here. It's going to be our final he just, match. He just threw his body into Krogunk. He didn't have to do it. Straight up hurled himself, though. Alright, so the final match of this set. Going off to a early start, has RJ locked down the corner, but RJ makes his, makes his way out. Charles Pikachu Sand Attack cannot learn that in the games. Somehow found his way in the Ferrum, <laughs> the Ferrum region. Changing the rules, man. I mean, I never heard of a shadow of you two either. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think we're looking the other way on a lot of things <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Actually, shout out to Pokemon XD, man. That game gets no love. All the shadow Pokemon in that game. Oh. There we go. Alright. So Millen has definitely, uh, oh, definitely that was found his strides here. One HP left. On RJ. Yeah, and RJ's throwing out that quick attack. And he does not have his burst yet. So that's going to wrap things up. Extreme speed is closing it out. Extreme speed, extremely quick match as well. And uh, how, the, how the tides have changed. Miller now won around the way from uh, eliminating RJ. He was looking so strong in the first match. It really was. I wonder why he stopped. Yeah, why, why stop? Just keep doing it. I think if your opponent's getting hit by zoning, if you're winning the zoning battle, there's no reason to stop zoning. Some people will just do it and then make their way in for some, and you know, whatever yeah, you're reason. giving up advantage for no reason. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Horse Bear will beat those uh, Thunderbolts, the Fully Charge at least. Oh, very risky. That is actually not punishable on block like that, but... No! Why did you let go of counter? You had the counter attack. It chooses the backdash instead. 
Nice. Activate Synergy Burst because uh, one more block and he would have got his guard broken. Oh, oh wow. Um, I think, think Peach is going to win this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, Lucaro's. I didn't realize he released his as well. The unfortunate thing about that is Lucaro's is so fast and Pikachu's is so slow. Lucario lost his invincibility before Pikachu's even came out, and he was able to get punished. That's a bad break. Well, yeah, you, well, you get rewarded for having a slow super in this game. Oh, Sylveon once again. I don't think. I don't know. I guess that's a good way to flex this round out in case you end up getting bodied. It should damage no counterattack on that thunder though. Uh oh. Alright, so seven seconds left. Hope RJ all RJ needs to do is block. Do not get yeah, Oh my god, RJ, please! All he had to do was block. I'm telling you, dude, oh. that is something that they just do not play. Look, 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 look at the oh post swing. My god. They, they neither one of them, I swear, neither one of them noticed the clock there because you saw at the two seconds left, Villain still went for a grab. I can't believe this. He was up, there were seven seconds left. All he had to do was block and you know play a little bit defensively. There was no way he was gonna lose that. Yeah, long matches like that, man. You got it's not yeah, it's 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 best of three. Okay. 